So in this video, we're going to talk about the nitrate anion, and we're going to ask ourselves, is this molecule actually polar or nonpolar? All right, well, first thing we have to do is draw a lower structure. So we know that we have a nitrogen and we have three oxygens. All right, so I'm going to count up the total number of electrons that I have to place. That way I do not get my lower structure incorrect. So I know from the periodic table that nitrogen has five valence electrons, and I know that oxygen has six valence electrons. So to get the total number of electrons, well, we have three oxygens, each worth in the six electrons apiece. So that's three times six. That would be 18 plus five, right? So we have 18 electrons plus five electrons. And this uh, should give me a total of 23 uh, electrons. But remember that because we have a negative charge, that simple means that we add one. So we have 24 total number of electrons. So again, usually when these and these molecular formula, your central atom is going to be um, typically at this furthest to the left in the molecular formula. Obviously, it's not always the case, but most of the times this rule um, holds up. All right. So at this point, I'm just going to place. Uh, three oxygens around my nitrogen atom. And I'm going to start off with single bonds. So I'm going to always want to satisfy the octet uh, with an atom like nitrogen. So thus far, um, we have two, four, six electrons around the nitrogen. The octet is not full. So I could place a pair of lone pairs on the nitrogen, or I could actually form a double bond to satisfy the octet. I'm going to go ahead and let's say I form a double bond. So now nitrogen's octet is satisfied. Now I have two, four, six, eight electrons because remember each single bond worth a two electrons. Okay. So we've used eight out of, the, out of the 24 that we have to place, right? I cannot, let's leave the nitrogen for now. I cannot place any more electrons on nitrogen. So if I place two pairs of lone pairs on this oxygen, now I have two, four, six, eight electrons around the oxygen. So the oxygen's octet at the top is satisfied. Since we cannot place any more electrons on the nitrogen, like we said, we can only work with the oxygens. And the only way we could do this um, is to put lone pairs, right? So in the left oxygen, we have only two pairs of electrons. I'm sorry, only two electrons around uh, around the left uh, left oxygen. So I could place three pairs of lone pairs, and I could do the same thing for uh, this oxygen. And what the what this does is that this gives me two, four, six, eight electrons around the oxygen on the left and two, four, six, eight electrons around the oxygen on the right. Um, so if we count the total number of electrons we place, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So obviously you not see my cursor when I'm, when I'm counting, but you could count these and you will see that this is 24 electrons. Now, because uh, this is an ion, the correct Lewis structure, uh, we put these uh, in parentheses and we put the overall negative charge. Now the question here is this molecule polar or not? <clears throat> well, we know from the periodic table that oxygen is more electronegative than, than, than nitrogen. So we know that uh, we could draw our dipole moment going towards the oxygen and the nitrogen in this case will get a partial positive. We also have a dipole moment going this way <clears throat> right, from the nitrogen uh, to the oxygen. As the oxygen is hugging, the electron is more electronegative and we also have a dipole moment going this way. So is this molecule polar or not? Well, remember that if you've viewed my previous video, we said we said that if you have a dipole moment in this direction and a dipole moment in this direction, the net dipole moment, and let me use a different color, would be straight down the middle. This would be the net, the red. Same thing is for the upward direction. If I have a dipole moment going this way, and a dipole moment going this way, then the net would be straight up the middle, all right? So the reason why I say this is because the net addition of the two on the left, I'm sorry, the two, the right and the left respectively, the net addition of these two is actually straight down. And so what we do have is an addition of tail to tail dipoles and we know these are equal to zero so in fact the nitrate anion is actually a non-polar uh, structure you could also think of it as well in terms of symmetry another way of looking at this would be in terms of symmetry right so if you draw a plane 
offline, if you draw a line straight down the molecule, and you get two equal things on the same side of the molecule, uh, that's also that also contributes uh, to uh, polarity. And so in this case, because the molecule is symmetrical, um, this molecule would be nonpolar.